Welcome to Deltarune Chapter 1. I'm not entirely sure what this is, I know basically nothing about it, but what I can tell you is this, it's related to the Undertale franchise. It was just released, at least at the time of recording, by Toby Fox, creator of Undertale. It was released in a sort of low-key, kind of strange way through their Twitter. That's about it. <laughs> That's about all I know. I know everybody's been talking on Twitter about how they're trying to avoid spoilers and watch out for spoilers, don't spoil it for people, so it sounds like a very spoilable thing that I'm probably going to want to play right now before I end up getting spoiled on it. And of course that applies to you, the viewer, as well. So if you would like to play this yourself, it's completely free. I'll have a link to this in the description. Um, and as it says, it's intended for people who have completed Undertale. So you might want to have played that first, apparently. But if you want to join me on my journey through Deltarune, then come along. Also another warning, there may be moving or flashing imagery, so potential seizure warning. And the reason I'm showing you this, which is the website for downloading it, not the game itself, is because I actually want to capture everything that I do with Deltarune from installing it to actually playing it. Because I remember when I first tried to play Undertale, I was doing some test recording stuff and I created a profile thinking it would just be a nonsense profile for testing and then I would delete it and make a new one, but it turns out that you couldn't actually change your profile name once you had completed it. So there's sort of like meta stuff going on with the Undertale franchise, and I'm assuming Deltarune as well, where the first time you interact with the thing, it might uh, be a good idea for me to record it in case special stuff happens. So the EXE is rather suspiciously called Survey Program Windows English.exe. And <laughs> the file version is 0.6.6.6. .6 so it's a rather cursed thing. In fact, let's look further into the properties. Anything in here in the details? Survey program. Uh, okay, nothing more. All right, let's see if anything weird happens. Oh yeah, yeah, it's already getting meta. You accept everything that will happen from now on. Okay, I agree. Okay, this part's actually real. I don't think I don't think this is a joke. I think it actually needs Visual C redistributable. Shall we begin? Okay, that's loud. Oh god. Are you there? Maybe 20% will be good. Are we connected? Excellent. There we go. I full screened it. Is it showing up? Yes, it's showing up. Good. Yeah, alt enter usually full screens uh, games like this. We may begin. First, you must create a vessel. Select the head that you prefer. Huh. Interesting. This one here is very different from the rest. This one sort of looks like Frisk to me. It's really hard to tell though. These heads are so big and the pixels so chunky that they barely even look like heads to me. I'm really curious about this strange one. Let's go with this. Let's look the torso <laughs> that you prefer. Oh, that is cool. Actually, also creepy. These are all very subtly different. Let's go with that. Select the legs that you prefer. This is your body. Do you accept it? My face looks particularly creepy now. Yes. Excellent. You've created a wonderful form. Thank you. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? 
Why is pain an option? I don't like that. Sweet. Favorite... <laughs> okay. Your favorite blood type. This is definitely a very cursed game. I don't even know my blood type. Probably could find it out if I wanted to. I've had some blood tests done. I guess if I looked at the results, maybe they would tell me that, but... Uh, I don't know, B. What color does it like most? Blue. Please give it a gift. I wonder if I'm choosing stats, in a way. Right? Like, bravery gives you strength. Voice gives you charisma or something. Hmm. Kindness. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. <laughs> okay. Hope. Have you answered honestly? Yes. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. Yes. Understood. Name your vessel. I found an evil name generator online, and I think I liked this one the best. Ingeron. We called it Ingeron. And what about the creator? Oh, my own name. Marshall. Excellent. Truly excellent. Marshall. Thank you for your time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. Will now be discarded. Okay. No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is... Chris. Well, hello. This is a familiar place with familiar people. Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. I'll wait outside for you, all right? Why do I look like that? I look very evil. I look like a really, really fucked up evil version of Frisk. Also, is this blood down here? It's stained. And this looks like a cage. It's a red wagon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Clothes drawer. Your bed. It's a beautiful day outside. Drawer is mostly empty, except for... A school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. Nothing useful. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. Look at all the trophies over this bed. And look at the nothing over this bed. Yeah, like both sides of the room are... sort of mirrors of each other. Except one side's sickly and the other isn't. They're not quite mirrors though. This window looks like it's maybe not in exactly the center of the room. And the computer desk and this are different, obviously. Many books, tales of snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tales, a scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. An assigned copy of the history of humans and monsters by Gerson Boom. Let's stay upstairs for now. A cactus. Not much to say about it. 
crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded, and there's no green. It's only you. It's locked. Downstairs it is. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Is this all... Now I'm trying to remember, like it's been a while since I played Undertale, honestly. This isn't the same as it, as it was in Undertale. No, this is definitely different. The upstairs is pretty similar, but this is different. Yeah, this is very different. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. <laughs> that reminds me, I actually bought trash bags recently that are actually scented. They have like a flowery scent. It's They're trying to scent your trash, literally. And it actually smells kind of nice. Of course, it only matters when you first put it in. After you've had trash in it for a while, then you don't smell it at all. It's Cherry, all the beloved living room chair. TV? Doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. It's a book of hymns. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it's a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Azriel visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? You're a teacher here. I say your rather than their name because I forgot everyone's name. Frisk. And I know... Undyne. Yes, Undyne. Okay, I got a list of the characters. Now I can figure out who anybody is. If they're a main character. Because if they're not, then they're not on this page. Alright, so that's Alphys. They're a teacher. In this world. This world that definitely doesn't feel real at all. It's like some strange dream, one that's probably going to turn very bad soon, I think. So, does everyone have a... Uh, oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so we'll walk around and find a partner, okay? <laughs> So happy sounding. Okay, is that Temmie in the top right? This one? It looks like Temmie from the back, but I'm not sure. So I'm looking at the character, what they're wearing, what the character's wearing. And I'm looking over at Chara, the character Chara, the first human. I think it's the same color scheme. Yeah, like a greenish shirt with a yellowish band in the center. They look similar to Chara, just in what they're wearing, but obviously they're called Chris. Also, their skin tone's different. Chris's skin tone is very yellow, but Chara is much more tan. Hmm. And Chara's brother was Asriel, right? And both of their parents are um, Asgore and Toriel? Crisp! Oh, oh, very sore. 
Tem already have partner? Okay, it is Tem. What's that? It's a black and white hard-boiled egg. Sadly, seems like it already has a partner. Aww. Okay. Ah, Chris. Late again, I see. Hmm? You need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though... Wait, Chris, now that I think about it. Your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. <laughs> Not. I actually want to get an A. I miss the Undertale music. It's so good. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry, Birdly already asked me. But I could ask Miss Alphys if we could make a group of three. I'll ask you for sure. Uh, not yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. Click, click, tap, tap. Taken. Oh my god, look at this cool snake. Chris, you know Jokington and Caddy are always partners. Jockington, Jockington, and Caddy. We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was hula hoop day and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. <laughs> okay. That's a cool snake. Partner? I hardly know her. What? What do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram! Yo, Chris. Show up earlier next time. I end up having to partner with Snowy. Now he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner. Like a cowboy. <laughs> okay, I guess we gotta see if we can make a group of three. Oops. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alphys, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve this. Abort. What? But Chris doesn't have a... Noel, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. I, actually, I just wanted to know if... Noel, can you please speak up? Hi, Susie. Am I late? Oh, n no, you're fine. We, we were just, um, choosing partners for the next group project, and, um, Susie, you're with Chris. Great. Now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and you all know I can't start class without some. How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Hey, anyone? Please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... Good idea, Noel. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. And, Chris, can you go with her and make sure she, um, actually gets it and, uh, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later.
Do we just eat chalk? Chris. Didn't see you there. Hey. You didn't see anything just now, did you? Hmm. You can't even say. Chris. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. You think just cause you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking? It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So Chris, if I know you're going to pull the trigger, why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel about losing your face? Nah. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then, Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Whoa. Oh. It didn't let me answer on purpose. Don't bother answering. What if I did answer, so just mashed the button before it disappeared? I wonder if anything would happen. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Oh. I wonder if that's the whole thing with this game. It started with a character creation. Nothing I did there mattered. Let's go, freak. The locker's covered in Jockington memorabilia. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads. And screech at any students that make contact while dancing. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll catch up. Chris? What, realize the baby classroom was a better fit for you? Hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, let's not. You drank from the water fountain. <laughs> People put their mouth on that, you know. Wrong way, Chris. Oh, it's really not going to let me go there. You just going to skip school? What, am I supposed to snitch on you? That'd be rich, huh? Nah, I wouldn't. Get back here. God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. Hey, Chris. Is it me, or... Is it really dark in there? What 
It's a hold up, Chris. Are you gonna go in or what? Fine. If you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... We'll, we'll both go in at the same time. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. Uh... Kinda big for a closet, huh? You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh... broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we've heard hard enough. If Alphys wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. What the... Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us... The floor, it's... 